All right, everybody, calm, calm down. Calm down. Too, too much going on here. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Christopher, uh, the cop, and uh, Ashley, the... Uh, Ashley. Ashley, the... The, uh, the Ashley. What was it? The Shamira. Glork. The, She-ra. The She-ra. Like he and, uh, and she-ra. Like Taylor, he the, uh, the, the tater tot. The guru. The guru. Ta- Taylor, the guru. Tater tot. And uh, <laughs> let everybody say hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Who said, who said it? Who, who's saying what is the question? Who's, yes. Who thumped it? You'll get to, get to recognize my voice because it's more handsome. It's yes. magical. Yeah. <laughs> it takes you away to that ma- magical place. It looks better. With, with unicorns and fairies. Yes. I, I definitely Frolic. feel the, the tingling. I know a few unicorns I feel the tingly and in my jingly when uh, Taylor starts talking. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can feel it in my loins. Yeah, I mean, Chris is that's, in love with Taylor. That's embarrassing. Know. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Well, well, the good thing is, is uh, nobody knows show who we it, are. So you're, it's like getting mooned is embarrassing. <laughs> have you ever mooned anybody? Oh, yes. Question number one, have you ever mooned anybody? Showed the bare ass. I have mooned several people in my mm-hmm. lifetime from moving cars, usually. Moving cars. That, way you don't, that would have been the next question. Because what you do is you, you moon them and then make a quick left so they can't. Catch up with you. Is there a smear on the glass Ew. when the no, ass no, comes you off? No, no, you got to roll the window down. Oh. Stick your butt out the window. I bet that yeah. feels good. Did it's it like put some air in the butt? And balls are flapping. <laughs> 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 Is that what happens when you do it? I don't have balls. I'm talking about oh, your oh, okay. balls. <laughs> that's, a, that's the ball flapping in the yeah. sound effects there. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is supposed to be a metaphysical. It is metaphysical. Well, yeah. level of consciousness we're talking about. Metaphysical <laughs> right there. <laughs> this is embarrassing, I tell you. Well, he just asked if you moon somebody. That's not metaphysical. Well, so, Ashley, no. have you ever mooned anybody? Yes. Have you ever seen anybody? Not in public. I mean, like, was it, was it was it a full moon? Like, did, it was did, a full moon. Did we I'm... just see butt crack or did we see... Uh, you saw everything. We saw the portal to life. No. Okay, so just butt. Just butt. <laughs> just butt. Yeah, just but. butt, and it was like uh, yeah, not in public. It was always like in the comfort and safety of my own home. Who were you mooning? Ex-husband. Mm. <laughs> they, they are <laughs> ex-husbands are moonable. Well, and and current, uh, you know, current people, you know, these days. Oh, you moon your friends too? Sometimes. So if you I don't feel discriminate like it. between who I you moon. have no discrimination. I don't even have a you, discriminatory you moon bone anybody. in my body. You just moon anybody. Anybody. We you deserve to it. Say, you get the butt. Hello. <laughs> Do we check in to say hello, please? I don't want to say hello. hello. <laughs> Brought to you uh, from Earth. <laughs> we're, to, we're, we're on Earth right now. Right. To For the, those of y'all who didn't know. the outer that. regions of the uh, universe. <laughs> and unicorns and fairies Question and all number that two. Kind. Oh, have okay. you mooned anybody? Me? Yes. No. Chris? Never. You've never, never mooned, mooned any? Well, you need, you're, there's First still, lie of the morning. No, no lie. There is still I speak time. No lie. There is still time. I've never mooned. It's never too late to moon. I fi- Why I fi- don't you I- just do it right now? I figure the reflection of my ass. Moon is right now. Please it, it would be so bright, it'd be like a mirror from the sun, just, just glistening it's off of it. The reflection. What was that, the, the, the little twilight, uh, the twilight glitter ass, I guess mm-hmm. is what I would have? I, I, never mind. Twilight glitter ass. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh. Everybody take a drink to that. Um, speaking of the universe, have I... Uh, Y'all heard of the uh, Drake equation? No. The Drake equation? Oh, yeah. Equation? It, it proves um, extraterrestrial life. In theory, yes. In theory. It Boom. Pretty much, it, Tell me more in, about in, this. In, in layman's terms, they, they, they make an equation, a mathematical equation, that pretty much states that if there's so many stars and stars have so many planets, and for every one grain of sand on Earth yeah. is pretty much the equivalent that can be 10,000 stars in our visible universe. Absolutely. So the the equation is is if it's that vast, mm-hmm. there's no way that we are the only life form in the universe. And since Except we're in my ego, <laughs> and since we're where we are time wise, it only makes sense that there's civil, that there's galaxies and and or planets or suns that are older than us. Yeah. And there's some newer than us. Like, we're not going to be the oldest, and we're not going to be the newest. So we have older siblings and younger siblings. Right. So, therefore, if it's that big and there's that many people or that many chances out there, so the chances are 
that 100% has Santa got to exist. Mm -hmm. Santa wear a silly grin. So that was in 1961 where that guy came up with that. But the one that kind of branches off from that is the, the Fermi paradox. Have you heard about that the one? Fermi. Fermi, what'd you call me? <laughs> Not not Herbie or uh, Kirby or, or uh, what's what's that little uh, what's a little doll? I think it's a Furby doll. I don't know. Oh yeah, those are cute. I used to have one. But the the Fermi's you paradox. You guys are making this stuff up, aren't you? The fur the Fermi's paradox is labeled up in one little term is where is everybody? So yeah. he's saying that if there is that if if the Drake equation is true, which I believe it is. Yeah. I mean, it's that big that if the Fermi paradox is is where are they? If civilizations are, I mean, if galaxies are far, way farther than we are in the universe in time, they're and there's some there. way behind us, if there's an advanced civilization, where are they? I mean, Out the there. interstellar how travel we, has, ha, has had them? to happen. Yeah, but we haven't gotten there. It's like they're watching us, but we can't see them. How that, are they watching us? What? This is my point. If the Fermi the paradox time. is true, which I don't see why it wouldn't be true, and the question is, is where are they? They're watching us. They? And why are we not them? And, and laughing their ass off. How? Why are humans <laughs> not the alien civilization on this planet? Or do you really think, if you look at the whole Earth as a whole, and you take out humans, right, because we're the ones destroying everything, we're the cancer of the Earth, if you take us out, is Earth not pretty much a perfect equation? Well, Only this amount of animals are going to eat this amount of animals, and this much vegetation is going to grow. Be in balance and Correct, but then you add in humans... And we're the ones pretty much destroying everything. We're tearing down forests to make our little house. We kill the animals because they're coming back on our in our house or on our land because you know we built yeah. a house out in the middle As of the woods. It was our land, right? You know, so I guess the point is: land. is could we not be my the alien civilization really on Earth? We could. Is it possible? It's possible. Anything. I don't, is I don't think so. If we were, if we were, don't you think that we wouldn't be destroying the Earth that we live on if we were that intelligent? Well, we're yeah. using it for resources. Yeah, but at a, at an alarming rate. Uh, yeah. So we're not obviously not the higher up in intelligent life. But that, that's it, that's it. We that's might be the lower down. We that, might be the lower end. That is if we're basing us as saying Earth is our final home. I mean, if there's a billion zillion planets out there, uh, mm -hmm. we're just going to be at Earth for like that. Done with same. Earth. Zoom to another one. Done with that. Zoom to another right, one. Done with that. So, just, you know, so I mean, for us to sit here and try to think that humans are on Earth to stay here forever, I think that's pretty stupid. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Bye, Ashley. Right, we'll right. see you in a little bit. So, I mean, but really, I mean, what do you think about that? Come I mean, back anytime. Like, if let's take us trying to think of Earth as our home forever, okay? Well, so, yeah. it, from what she was saying, we, we can't be that smart for destroying it. Well, no, because time's irrelevant, right? Time's an illusion, right? So, if we're, I mean, we could be here for, we'll just say, a million years. Destroy the planet, gather all the resources, move on. I mean, we're not looking at Earth as like, Oh, it's you know this is the only thing there is. It's just like send some people to Earth, mine all the resources, continue on with your travel, go somewhere else, go to another planet. I mean, if if a civilization is way more advanced than us, they probably know a lot of Earth-like planets out there. I mean, I just don't understand. There's got to be aliens somewhere. Well, yeah. Could well, we not be the aliens? Well, first of all, let's let's take the the number a billion. Mm. So a billion, a billion seconds ago. It was 1979. A billion minutes ago, Jesus was walking the planet. A billion dollars ago was eight hours and 20 minutes, according to the way our government spends. <laughs> so <laughs> believable. Anyway, there are, you know, a billion is a big number, a billion. So our little galaxy known as the Milky Way is roughly 150 billion stars. Wow. And then imagine how many things could be orbiting those stars, and we're just a mid-sized galaxy. Now, there's a roughly true. 400 billion galaxies, so that's 400 billion billion stars, each of them perhaps having things rotating around them. So I agree, how could we be the only one? Right. I hundred percent don't believe we're the only one, but I guess the 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 one I was trying to get to is is I want to hear some some feedback on why why are we not why are we not the alien we why are why are we alien. not the alien species on Earth? Well, we are the alien. It's hard for me to believe that we came straight from monkeys. I, I'm not a firm believer in. 
We uh, came from the ocean. Right, and then the the fish grew legs and so walked on land, and then the, 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 the thing or? little walked on land. Well, I mean, I believe in ev- evolution and Darwinism because every day you learn something, you're evolutionizing. I mean, we we evolve evolving. every day. Yeah. I mean, every new thought, every time we're talking like we're doing right now. I mean, we're evolving. We're are devolving. But where where is where is the middle? Okay, so if we came from apes or monkeys, what is it? Every monkey is an ape, but not every ape is a monkey. One of those two is right. If we came from monkeys, we'll just say it might be apes. I just I wanted to word it correctly. Evolved from monkeys. Where is the middle? Where is the middle one? Where is the one like? Was your mother a monkey? I, I mom. Would, yes, your no. ancestors. Okay. I don't and, know about my mom. I'm, I'm sorry, and, and they I say digress. that Neanderthals, you know, turned into Homo sapiens, oh. and Neanderthals lived with Homo sapiens right up for about a hundred thousand years or so before they extinct. Right, so there's no more Neanderthals a hundred thousand years after Homo sapiens were here or whatever. So if Homo if that's what? the case, <laughs> Homo saying what? <laughs> so if, if that's the case, where is the why are monk why are the monkeys still here? You know what I mean? Like if we came from them or whatever, like why are they still here? I mean, like because they didn't should, expand their consciousness. Well, maybe they're. No, I'm saying why are they here? Though? Maybe they, so, they de- we devolved in from the monkeys. I mean, it could be the monkeys that are the smart ones. I mean, they do know how to throw shit at you. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, butt and... animals are way more smart than we give them credit for. I definitely oh, know that. Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. Like we we put these monkeys in the cages, you know, in the labs, and they sit in there the cage like th- for thirty years, and all they're doing is watching the humans press the right buttons at the right sequence. To you know what I mean? Banana. And it's just like for all we know, they're just studying. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're watching the same routine every day and every day and every day, and all it's going to take is that one time to just leave that cage unlocked. And now they know, I mean, granted, maybe they don't know what they're doing, but they know what to do. You know what I mean? They don't know the definition of this yep. button does what, this button We're does that. We're teaching them how to take over the world. Mm. It's probably because just think about, about when, when the computer... Playing the ape. <laughs> because, yeah, they're going to come know. out of here and punch a button on a computer and <laughs> blow us all up. They might. They could be... That is definitely a possibility. Know. But I think that just because... We're able to build stuff. I mean, and we think they that we're the most stuff. intelligent cre- creature on the planet. I don't. I don't. I don't believe that. Listen, I, I saw. Mean, I saw a video recently that blew my mind, and dolphins. it was an elephant. Yeah. An elephant. A woman would hand a paintbrush to an elephant, and this elephant drew, drew an elephant. I, know. <laughs> really? I, I mean, this elephant was as good as any five-year-old human could draw. Drew this elephant with his trunk and a and a flower, <laughs> not yeah, his with this, with this trunk and drew a perfect elephant like Beep. I'm saying, not his member a, as good as any five year old could possibly oh, yeah, draw an elephant. So welcome back with pretzels. Oh, and, did we go someplace? <laughs> oh, I went somewhere where the pretty flowers grow. grow. <laughs> <laughs> she tele- I'll be back in an hour. She teleported so. to get a, a unsalted pretzel. I'm sorry, I did not ask your permission to eat your pretzels. Well. I just grab. Hey, we are all one. Yours, We're all one. What's mine they're, they're is yours, and what's yours is mine. Okay. Just remember and that. And what's mine is mine. Mm. Not <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Excuse me while we Hello? take the telephone call. Please excuse uh, Ashley again. Hello? She's going to teleport and uh, speak on her technological uh, it's device. It's rather, rather rude of her. She has a tendency to do that right in the middle of a conversation. And well, I mean, I'm back. It was well, nothing. Well, yes, there you go. so it wasn't worth your time and effort. Mm-mm. Okay, that was energy wasted. Yes, which does remind me, I well, do need to turn off my. But ringer. you can redirect your energy Mine's anytime awesome. you want. In Twenty seconds. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, say bye bye for this part one real quick. Bye bye part one. We can only one. do in uh, fifteen minute increments, <laughs> and we only have uh, ten seconds left. Nine, so uh, we'll be eight. back in. Uh, Goodbye. We'll we'll be back in a split second for you, but it could be 10 minutes for us. Who knows? Bye. Bye.